now it's just quiet and barren. Got a lot of cleaning up to do. It's so empty you can hear the echo. Now, see that? Okay, let me wipe my tears. Boy was very upset, she was crying. So I don't want to even say get rid of the body. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Center for Stingray Biology. I am back in LA now. I spent about a month and a half in New York maybe close to two months. As you guys know, we've been doing a juggling game between me and Rod, bouncing back between New York and either Florida and LA, right? So now Rodrigo is permanently settled in New York, and now it's my turn to come back to LA and wrap up all the loose ends. So I'm just gonna give you a quick walkthrough what this place looks like, because when I came back, it just didn't feel right anymore. Everything's all torn down, the sound of water's not there anymore, and it just feels weird because I've been here in this location for I think, I think over 15 years. It's coming down to the end of an era and I'm quite sad, you know. Everything here was like second nature. Do this, do that right when I walk in the door. Now everything feels weird. So, <coughs> Tiff, why don't you show them? <clears throat> so this room, I used to have all those double tanks here, all empty. We come in here, guys. We still have a few components left. Uh, this tank is still here. I got that double tank over there that I need to uh, tear down. I don't know how this guy ended up here. This was the monster filter system that was on the other side, and now it's on this side. So probably when we had to move some of the big tanks, we juggled some stuff around, but now I get a perspective of how big this thing is. And I used to not be able to get that perspective because it was like wrapped around by all these other big tanks. So look, you see everything's just a big mess here. Got a lot of cleaning up to do, just tearing down piping and and stuff like that so that we can return the space to the landlord. Um, but yeah, that's what we were doing yesterday, right Tiff? Yep. A lot of pipes here. These are all the small pipes for the water change lines, like the water lines coming in. Watch your step yeah. and uh, you know, let's go around to the other side now. So you, you guys get that feel? See, it's all, man, show them the whole thing. Oh my God. Right? It's not the same, it's not the same. It was once teeming with life. Now it's just quiet and barren. But come on, let's go. I mean, on to bigger and better things, right? Because what we're showing you in New York is very exciting. Ah! Oops. It was very exciting. What we were showing you in New York was very exciting. We just have to close up this chapter in our lives. So, see? It's so empty you can hear the echo, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we still have this monster water tank that I was telling you. You know, we're trying to figure out how to deal with it. We got it down. It's on a pallet, strapped up, ready to go. We still have my packing table. Um, this is uh, another tank here. Actually, this tank was not here. This tank was donated to us by our buddy, Vincent. So we still have a lot of uh, plumbing to tear, tear down over here today, right, Tiff? Yeah. And then just strapping things up and cleaning up. See, all this, I spent so much time like planning and figuring out all this, and now I got to tear it all down. But I'll rebuild it over there. That's pretty much it as to, you know, what's going on here. As you guys know, we still have a little bit of fish here. And now that I'm back, I'm gonna have to pack that and, and ship it over to New York. Let me give you guys a little quick update. Uh, they've been doing great while I was gone. You know, uh, big kudos and thumbs up to Oi for helping me take care of these guys. But look, they're doing very nicely. Very responsive to food. Um, boy said that she's never had a problem with them. They're hungry. Let me drop some food in for them. They like this uh, freeze dried krill. Here we go, watch. Look at that, Ooh. see they hit that pretty pretty hard. Let me throw a couple. Now, see that? That's what I love about it. It's, it's, they're so much fun to feed, especially when they come up like that. Once they're not shy anymore, and actually these guys were never really shy. This is the that new male that we brought in, right? For the big girl. Mm -hmm. Okay, so on that note, okay, let me wipe my tears. Not real tears, but uh, <laughs> just tearing. Uh, I have a sad update. As Tiffany wants to show them the tank. Mm -hmm. We are missing something in here. What happened is the, the big fatnoid did not make it. Okay, uh, she just didn't take to that move very well. I've had her for over 15 years, 
uh, I've had her even before I had this facility. And um, she's always been in that big tank since day one that we moved to here. Uh, so I'm guessing once we moved her over and her being old, maybe a compromised immune system. I mean, as we know, she was totally healthy over there. And this, this tank is totally clean. But sometimes when you mix populations, uh, some germs or viruses spread. For those of you guys who have kids, you know, babies at home, as you know, like once your your kid could be doing your 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 sorry, not your kid, your baby could be doing fine, and then when when it comes time for them to start going to school, you know, a preschool or daycare, then they start getting sick. It's because you know they're interacting with other uh, children, and germs get spread around, and they just get keep getting sick every week. My guess is. That's what happened, okay? Because when I moved her over, um, she ate the first two days, and then since then, just her appetite started tapering down. There was no real physical signs of anything wrong with her other than she wouldn't eat, and um, she would always hide in the corner, right? Yeah, uh, around that corner. In the back corner, right? And, yeah. Uh, I, I know Rod showed it also, and I was hoping that she would come out of it or her immune system would naturally fight it because there was nothing that I could really treat her for. It was just at that point a waiting game. But uh, she hung on for at least like a, a month or more. And then, you know, one day Oi tells me, you know, she's sideways, upside down and uh, not looking good. It's just very sad, you know, that uh, that this facility is coming down to, 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 um, to its end and and she couldn't join us in, in the new chapter of, of, of our lives. And it's very sad. Boy was very upset, she was crying. Um, she said, you know, we've had that fish even before Tiffany was born. So she was very upset about that. But I told her, you know, um, not to replace her, but we'll, we'll, we'll find a new fish when we get settled in the new facility and start, you know, growing a new fish, you know, for the new chapter of, of our lives. But. I know I love that fish and many of you guys out there also really loved it. But so this is what we have here now and they're doing good. So uh, probably sometime this week I will be packing it up and sending it on to Rod um, and then I'll be tearing the rest of this down. I don't know if it's appropriate to show you guys this um, or but uh, I, I told Oi to, to I told Oi to um, how did I say? I don't want to even say get rid of the body, right? But, and she wasn't willing to do it. It was it was hard enough for her to pull it out of the tank. And <clears throat> so now this is going to be my first look at it since I came back. And she said she put it in the freezer here. Oh my God, you kept it? Yeah. Um, we were thinking about getting it uh, mounted. Right. Oh my goodness. See, she's right here. And she's huge. And it's heavy too, so I don't know, guys. What do you think? Should I find somebody? Was a taxi a taxidermist? Is that the? I term? think that's it. Taxidermist. Right, and we could have this mounted and uh, take her with us. In that regard, right? If she couldn't come with us alive, alive um, at least we can have her mounted. Um, I just don't know. If I have the time, because we have to shut down this facility, and uh, um, should I send it to somebody here local? Because it's frozen, right? So I don't know what the procedure is. You know, am I supposed to box it up in a styrofoam box or whatever? But I'll look into that. Why don't you guys let me know in the comments below how how should I approach this? You know, should I just let it go or take it with us? I do thank all you guys for you know sticking with us and and supporting the channel. And uh, yeah, let's just move forward from here and. Uh, Look forward to greater things in New York. You know, let's just take this to the next level, right? That's all we can do. This is probably my last video from LA. Maybe at best I'll make one more um, loading the trucks and stuff, but we've done that already. So if you don't see another video from me um, here uh, from LA, I'll see you in New York, all right? Take care, guys.